Okay, well, here's some more modifications I've done with this laser that has the glass tube in it. Over here we've got a, a 12 and a 5 volt power supply. It's a switch mode power supply. Underneath it's a 48 volt one that drives the three gecko drives. Um, I've got to get another 24 volt one to drive the rotary attachment. That's got a five phase vector motor on it. And that's just the uh, digital signal process of floating around doing nothing. Uh, what else have I put on it lately? We've got this little radiator cooler. Actually, it doesn't work too bad, but uh, it doesn't keep the water cold. It takes a little bit of heat out. But what I've done now is sorted three or four Peltier devices. I'm going to connect those up and see if I can cool the water down that way they seem to work fairly efficiently and right now I'm in the uh, process of installing an LED strip across the bottom of the actual gantry itself this is the strip here it's a flexible strip it's got 300 LEDs on it per five metre length and that comes in a roll like this and along the length of it you have four little copper pads you can actually cut them through there and extend the LED strip itself and uh, just rewire them all you have to do is peel off the elastic or the silicon adhesive coating on the outside of it but well, that's going to be glued underneath this part of the, the gantry so that uh, it will light up the job and hopefully it'll make everything a little bit brighter let's see how we go with it now yeah, I've got a little piece of uh, what do you call that stuff shit I'll just clean this surface underneath here. A bit of steel wool. Just make sure it sticks properly. There'll be a lot of residue underneath this from the smoke. So it's going to have to be cleaned relatively well. The sticky backing on the LED strip is uh, made by 3M so that's a pretty good brand it's about the best in the world I think for, for sticky stuff so anything with 3M in it is pretty good just clean that off Great stuff, and it sticks like shit to a blanket. Oh. 
Right, now all I have to do is run a wire here, back down through the cable chain. And all I have to do is connect it up to the wires here and put the 12 volts on it. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so I've soldered the wires here. As you can see, I put some heat shrink around it, both joins. Put some heat shrink around the two wires themselves, just so that they won't uh, separate and get in the way of things. And it's just a matter of slipping this last piece of heat shrink over there and shrinking it down. Right, and that's that for that end. Now all that needs to be done is this wire here to be stripped back and connected up to the 12 volt power supply up here. So I'll be back in a minute after I've done that and let's have a look see how it goes. Okay, now we'll plug it in and see what we've got. It should come on straight away. Lovely. That's beautiful. So a nice strong light. Should actually be able to see what I'm doing here. Very nice. I was going to put a compact fluorescent globe on it. Like this one here, but it's actually too bulky and uh, they're very expensive. For the money, I was able to get a five metre roll of this LED for $27. That's about $150 cheaper than what I can get it in Australia. That actually came out of Hong Kong. But that's quite nice. I'm pretty happy with that. 